means. What's going to happen now? Uh, thank you, Esther. <clears throat> it is the right of uh, everybody that is st- standing trial mm-hmm. to be comfortable okay. with the trial court or judge. All right. But if in the course of this trial, you discover that uh, you may not get fair hearing from this judge or this court, okay. you, you can ask for the judge to excuse herself or himself from the matter. But what Justice John, John Tosher is saying is that there have been two other judges that have recused themselves from this case. Mm-hmm. The second thing he said is that the case has lingered for so long, since 2015, that what a lot of critical you know, logical thinkers will be like, if this case has lingered for so long, is it Namdi Kano's fault what? that the case has lingered for this long? Mm-hmm. So what exactly is wrong that they've not been able to surmise and conclude his case? Uh, it is very obvious. It's like the federal government is shopping for mm. evidence against Namde Kano. They are shopping for evidence since 2015? Yes. You want to tell me that you detain somebody, you incarcerate somebody, and you don't have strong evidence to take that person to trial? That is the modus operandi when you don't have a strong evidence against a suspect or a defendant. Barrister Darlington, who was the first Attorney General of the Federation that took this case to the court? Was it not the former Minister of Justice, uh, Malami? Amalami, of course, he was part of those who redeemed redi- him from Kenya. What were the strong points? What were, what was the local standby for it his was, incarceration? Good. It was because that rendition, mm. the people that went for him in Kenya, they didn't even know the crime they have committed themselves. It was when the court now said that, look, you people committed offense against this young man. Mm-hmm. That what you did was an international crime against him. And that we don't even have a law to try and name the call for what you are saying. Okay. And it was when the court now, because jurisdiction is very important when you are going for this type of trial. Exactly. When they now realize that the offense you have uh, charged this man for was committed in London. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. And they now realize that if they move on with this case, they cannot succeed. So they remove London. Hmm. If you have not removed London, so what are you now going to try and name the call for? Esther, that is the cause of the matter. Except they can be able to resolve that jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. They cannot they they can't get in Nam Kalo anywhere. And so when the court now explained this to the prosecutors, they became now ashamed. They don't know whether to return in Nam Kalo mm-hmm. to Kenya or to free him or to continue with the case. Mm-hmm. That is the quagmire they are in. Because it was the court that told them this. So based on that fact now, the federal government are looking for any other thing. Maybe they are looking for and they can to commit one thing in prison or the other. They will now say, okay, since you are in prison, look at what you have done in prison. Hmm. That is the reason why the detention has prolonged for this long. And the other two judges that exclude themselves from this, uh, uh, did, you, did you see the, the reason why and they can give? That they are biased. And it's because these judges knew that was why they excuse themselves. So, if Justice uh, Tosho is not saying that mm-hmm. Nandi Kalu should not write and give affidavit, and mm-hmm. the other two judges that excuse themselves, did he, did, did, did he follow the same procedure? Barrister Darlington, in 2022, you know Nnamdi Kano was renditioned in 2021. Yes. In 2022, Nnamdi Kano actually requested from the DSS for an oral testimony mm. as to his deteriorating health condition. Yes. At that time, he was requesting to be taken out of the DSS custody mm. to possibly Kirikiri or any other uh, correctional center while his case continues in court. Now, the DSS rejected that particular request. The DSS rejected Nnamdi Kano's request for oral evidence from the DSS. Yes. On several occasions, there have been impediments as to how this case can continue. Mm. The first one being the fact that they have alluded that he was the one responsible for the conflict in the southeast. Thereby, it was important for them to continue to his detainment to curtail the upheaval in the southeast. But as it stands now, the fact that he is still incarcerated, it has not ameliorated the the security challenges in the southeast. If that is the case, why have they not accelerated his hearing since 2015? Now, just as John Soho uh, is, uh, Tosh, uh, Tosh Tosh is Tosh. saying now that possibly because it has taken too long, mm. that Binta Yako is in the best uh, position to handle it. Mm. When this case got to the Supreme Court, why was it taken back to the Federal High Court? Why did the court eventually ask the Attorney General of the Federation to refile 
that they didn't go about it in the first instance. So whose fault is it that it has lingered for this long? It is the fault of the federal government. I told, told you here that shopping for evidence against Nnamdi Kalo. All this thing that they are saying up and down, mm. it is not strong enough to convict Nnamdi Kalo. It's not possible. Even the Supreme Court was against how they now, uh, you know, withdrew Nnamdi Kalo's bail. The Supreme Court said that it was wrong for, for them to have withdrawn his bail. After hearing all the argument on both sides. And that was why the Supreme Court said they should go back. And that the Nam Dekalu should even sue the federal government. He should institute a, a civil suit against the federal government. All this is uh, in public domain. The so, last time Nam Dekalu appeared in court, he categorically stated that no court in Nigeria can try him. Of course. Under what premise was he making that pronouncement? Because, because the particular evidence mm. which they have uh, uh, brought against Nam Dekalu mm. about jurisdiction has been nullified. That was why they withdrew it in their charge. Because for you to say that this, where did he commit this offense? That is very important in this part of in this type of trial. You cannot say that somebody so where did you see this property? Where, it, it's a criminal charge. I, I hope you know. You cannot say that where did you commit this offense? It is very important. If you cannot identify where the offense was committed, then what are you doing? What are you trying? That is the problem here. The federal government know that no matter how they detain the name, they can they cannot regulate out of that. Hmm. And they don't, do not come and say, okay, Nam the Kalo, I will go home. Just like they did for Shawari, they can't do that. After they have messed up everything, they are afraid that Nam the Kalo may institute a case against them for renditioning him from Kenya. Are you getting it now? Hmm. These are the quagmire the federal government are in now. And that is why they are finding it difficult to even, look, all this thing about uh, Nam the Kalo is looking for a judge or not that. My dear, it is not necessary. I have a president here. Tom Polo, government Tom Polo. Exactly. Was tried in absentia and sentenced. He didn't appear in court for one day. And nothing happened. I'm telling you, the federal government tried him in absentia and he was sentenced. Unfortunately, that same man is doing contract for the federal government today. Esther, how do you justify your decision for God's sake? How do you? I'm talking of those who have had arms against the federal government. Arms. Eh? Serious arms. So, we're going to have persons who, ha are, who are like non-state actors. We yes. have Asari Dukubo telling yes. us he has men, he has RPGs. He said it in, in, openly. You know, openly via his eh? social media account. And nobody has called him to question. You are, you nobody are, has asked where his facility is, where he's storing those RP RPGs. The one I discussed yesterday on my program was well, this one about terrorists who were rehabilitated into our military, running away with the gun they gave them a motorcycle. Esther, can you, can you, can you, can you define this in any form or shape? That the terror, they told us yesterday that they have sworn with the Quran, mm. they have been they are radicalized, they are that, they are this, they are born again. Now this. they've reintegrated yes, them. Yes, they ran away, they ran away with the guns, guns, Esther, guns, purchased with our taxpayers' money and motorcycle. What was their reason? They said what they told them before they joined them is not what they, what they are hearing. So, what was the promise made to them? I'm talking of terrorists. So. Hmm. Terrorists. Terrorists. So, Paris Darlington, in this particular matter now, since Justice John Soho has, you know, asked that Justice Binta Inyako comes back to that particular case, what if she declines to come back? What then happens? The choice is hers. The choice is hers. Yes. No, no. If okay, for in in this particular mm -hmm. instance, yes. initially she was not the one who asked to recuse herself. Mm -hmm. Justin who bro who boldly stated in the court that he doesn't trust her judgment. Right mm -hmm. now, and of course he ruled out certain factors as to why he doesn't trust her presiding over his case. And she said, if that is what you want, I would step down. But will, do you think that she's going to obey this chief judge of the federal high court order to return to Namdekanu's case? In fact, Namdekanu and his lawyers they already have something to hold on to and what this, is that good this particular judge initially suggested that they should go and seek for political solution to this problem yes for a judge to say that it means that she had looked at this case mm. and see that it's not going anywhere that is the first thing everybody should know if she know that this matter that is a strong evidence against Nam mm. Dekalo. She wouldn't have made that suggestion. Okay, Barrister. Now, listen, oh, listen. Okay, okay. Now, before this time, a certain Amadi yes. was, was on air, I mean everywhere, on social media. He revealed that this same judge, you told him that 
This Sam matter, Amadi, Sam yes. Amadi, mm-hmm. that this matter is not going anywhere because the federal government cannot succeed in their charge against him and the Carlo. Hmm. Up to now, nobody has come to say it's a lie. Up to now. So on what basis will this job continue? Already there is this moral body now on hmm. her. Yes. There's nothing she will do about that case after all this evidence. I'm telling you, there's nothing she will do about this matter. After this all, there is nothing. Barrister Darlington, let me bring your mind back. You would recall that when the same judge had requested that Namdi Kanu and the federal government or the Attorney General of the Federation try to come through what you call a truce, a political truce. Mm-hmm. I remember at the time, um, the rancor was the fact that Namdi Kanu never said that he wants to have a possible conversation or negotiation with the federal government. Do you think that maybe his legal team did not approach the Attorney General of the Federation? Because I, I, I remember that that time what was in the news was Namdi Kanu can never go and meet the federal government because he has done nothing wrong or whatever is it about pride now or ego because if he his team did not reach out to the attorney general of the federation um, or possibly his team is waiting for the attorney general of the federation to reach out to him and that did not happen is this why we're seeing this case being prolonged no don't look for something that is not missing okay the Kanu's team legal team they have approached the attorney general okay we also eat Ejimako compiled all the judgment in favor of Nandeka, none mm. of them. And they, he had taken it to the man. Mm-hmm. Even some lawmakers had, was let off the hook, discharged and acquitted. So what is delaying Nandekalu's case? Since you, you know you cannot win this case against him, why are you delaying the matter? That's a very big question. Yes. Why exactly is delaying this I'm case? I'm telling you. Why the pa- back and forth? Yes. Why the back and forth? If, then, they, if they have evidence the against him, uh, why don't you present it and accelerate the trial? Are you telling me? We have, we, we have uh, two other cases. Dasuki, until today. Sambo did you, Dasuki. Sam, did, you hear, did, you see, did you see him in court? Until they asked him to go. Exactly. Uh, uh, and Mustafa. Darius uh, Ishaku uh, too. Uh, all of yes. them. They have been let go. So what is delaying on the Carlos case? So anybody who is telling you that uh, Namdi Kanu refused is a lie. We, are, we have not had anything from the federal government. All right, Barrister. They believe that when they break Namdi Kanu's spirit in detention, maybe he will now do one thing or the other. They will mm. now hold something against him. They are working towards an answer. They are working because everybody have told them, release this man before the inevitable happens. Mm. Because if something happens to this man, please, how will the federal government defend it? Mm. Remember that the United Nations have written concerning the name of the Carlo in this matter. United Nations. And so the letters. Yes. US and UK have waded into this matter, yet they remain adamant. What do you think is going on here? Eh? If there is a strong they, they, nobody will even intervene in the name of the Carlo case. Nobody, nobody will support a terrorist anywhere in the world. But look at how they are pampering those in the north. Esther, just imagine. The whole world is watching what is going on. They so are, you're they saying that there is a geographical uh, preference uh, in this case. Obvious? Is it not obvious? Is it not obvious? What else are we talking about here? All these things that they are throwing out by all these uh, legal shenanigans, it will not help this case. It will not. Hmm. They no. believe that when they keep it down the car, maybe the agitation will stop. Esther, has it stopped? No. Has it stopped? No. That will tell you that there is a thousand and one in Nandi Carlos waiting uh, uh, to take over from him. And it may not be as quiet as it is now. All right, Barrister, let's look at the old progress. The whole world is watching what is going on. They so are, you're saying that there is a geographical uh, preference uh, in this case? Obvious? Is it not obvious? Is it not obvious? What else are we talking about here? All these things that they are throwing out by all these uh, legal shenanigans, it will not help this case. It will not. Hmm. They no. believe that when they keep it down the car, maybe the agitation will stop. Esther, has it stopped? No. Has it stopped? No. That will tell you that there is a thousand and one in the car waiting uh, uh, to take over from him. And it may not be as quiet as it is now. All right, Barry.